Right, today we're going to be looking at the circuit Lago di Maggiore, the short version of that circuit, and we're going to be lapping it in the BMW M6 uh, 2016 GT model. And let's take a look at the setup of this car because I discovered you need to have a pretty specific setup to actually beat this game. So here we are with the setup of the car. As you can see, I've leveled up three times and got the power ratio up to 119 and the weight down to 84%. In addition, I'm using medium tires and I've shortened second gear. So there's a bit more pull. Uh, I found without those power ups or level ups, it's very difficult to uh, actually beat this game. Okay, so here we are starting the first lap. It's very important in this game to get the first guy on the first corner there. I used to think you were not allowed to overtake until the uh, start-finish line here, but you are because the race begins as soon as you get um, the first guy crossing the line. Now, as you see, I've taken two places on the straight and one more in the corner. That's an excellent setup, and if I was a bit quicker, I might have got this Lexus. Now here it's very difficult to overtake. I have a lot of grip issues here and I tend to go out quite wide, but if you get close to someone here, you can run the berm here, which I'm gonna do, and just sneak past. And then you gotta watch this next corner because you tend to go onto the grass if you're going too quick there. Here you can be pretty late on the brakes and if you're lucky, go around the outside of someone. I've not actually managed to do it in the race, but I'm coming up alongside this Ford and I go past him and now I'm gonna get into the slipstream of the Ferrari. Um, slipping up nicely and we go past him don't have to be too late on the brakes here now if you if you get the brakes early enough there you end up on the left hand side of this track hit the brakes a little bit maybe go down to first here would be better and then get a nice run in to this drop-off corner where you tend to lose a lot of grip again I say oh I've just gone off onto the onto the grass and which means I've lost contact with this guy here and I don't have an ideal line but I'm getting close to him I'm probably gonna hit him on the brakes and thank you that's the Nissan on the brakes so now it's just three more guys to get much better line through there and coming out I just have to get in the slip of this guy he might actually be a bit too far away I think it's another Nissan he might be a bit too far away to get the slip he's also certainly too far away to get him on the brakes but I'm gonna give it my best go oh, I can't believe I managed that Wow Okay, so now it's just got to get this guy, and it's going to be on the next S-curve after my nemesis corner, which is this one. I lose so much time here. You can hear the wheel screeching. So now, there's the S. One, two, three, and I should be getting close up to him now, and I'll be right there. Not close enough to get him on the brakes, but if I can get into the uh, slipstream here, we should be good. I've got the exact same car as him, possibly a little bit more power as you can see. I slip him and then go past. And that's how you do it with a lap time of 43, which is actually my record. 